yellow again. Transformers Regeneration 1, Issue 100, The End of an Era. For good or for ill, this is it, folks. And I have to say, this one was a bit disappointing. And I mean right from the get-go. This is the cover I wanted. It's an homage to issue number one, and it's a regular retail cover, so I thought my chances were pretty good at getting it. Nope. It was the only cover my shop was sold out of, so I went with the Andrew Wildman cover instead, which is okay, I guess. I do like the banner at the top, being a throwback to what was done when the comic originally ended at issue number 80. It's a nice touch. On the inside, we get three artists for this grand finale. Both the returning Andrew Wildman and Guido Guidi do a commendable job with the pages they were given. Jeff Sr., on the other hand, well, I've seen him turn out better work than this. And with his pages smack dab in the middle of the book, it really breaks up the flow of the other artist's work. It's not bad, but I really feel it could have been better. And that brings me to my biggest disappointment with this book the story and its final resolution. I think Simon Furman seemed to lose the feel of the original comics over these past 20 or so issues. It's not terrible by any means, there are some standout bits. Grimlock gets the touch, Ultra Magnus is given a situation to deal with, character names are used as sound effects, and there are even a few guest appearances from other series including an armada of Rodimuses. Rodimai? But it's the ending that sort of left me wanting. Furman gets a little esoteric with how things finally play out, and it feels very different from what came before. So was this extra chunk of the G1 comic verse ultimately necessary? Well, we did get pretty much all the loose ends wrapped up, and we got to see our favorite bots one last time, but it never quite felt like a continuation of the original storyline, and with good reason. In issue number 81, we find that the story has moved forward 21 years to match the same amount of time having passed in the real world. Not having picked up directly from the events of issue number 80 sort of spoiled the overall feel of these last 20 plus issues. In the end, though, I am glad they revisited and brought closure to the bots and cons of my youth. And for this 30-year-old comic, this is the end. But it never...